Good morning and welcome to my final episode of my flight training journey. It's not that nice out, as you can see, but today is check ride day. My check ride starts at 7. I'm guessing what will happen is I will have to discontinue after I do the oral and ground portion and wait for the weather to get a little bit nicer and a little bit less windy. Hopefully this evening, crossing my fingers that the wind dies down tonight and I can get it done today. But if not, tomorrow morning looks awesome too. So, wish me luck. Callie's been working on the ground portion here for almost an hour and a half. Seems like she's doing good so far, hasn't been kicked out, but it is still windy and kind of drizzling. Not a great morning to go fly. Well, I got the oral portion done. This is a letter of discontinuance because of the weather. Not because of your poor performance in the oral? No, I passed the oral, but um, now I just have to think about the flying portion for the next however many days. I've been hanging out here most of the day. We went to dinner, so that was nice to get out of here. But I am officially on for tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., which is extremely lucky because there's a break in the wind tomorrow morning. As long as it doesn't rain, I'll be doing the flying portion of my check ride. I am having a hard time, Tyson will tell you, but I'm just trying to build up a little bit of confidence. More confidence. I'm confident, I'm just questioning everything, which I think is probably pretty normal for this point in time. My oral went really well, and everyone said that was the hard part, so let's hope they're right. Good morning, it is a beautiful day outside. The wind is supposed to pick up, but not for a few hours. And there was a little bit of rain that came through early this morning, but other than that, it's looking good. I'm just doing a little pre-flight right now. And uh, I'm very nervous. I think that's probably normal, but I'm excited to just get up there and start getting through the maneuvers and feeling less nervous, hopefully. I don't know if it's gonna go away. Today is officially day 31 that we have been here in South Dakota. Of those 31 days, I have flown 16. Weather hasn't been amazing, but we've worked through it. I'm at about 45 hours and hopefully gonna pass my check right here in less than an hour. Callie's about 20 minutes into her check ride. They are probably at the practice area where she will do some maneuvers, power on, power off stalls, slow flight. And I'm gonna tell you, I've just been on the ground pacing around. I am so nervous. I'm not nervous for Callie's abilities. I 100% believe in her, but I know what she's going through and I know how nerve wracking a check ride can be. And the thought of even having to do it makes me want to throw up. I was up until about midnight last night, not being able to sleep. Callie, and she's fast asleep. She's like, I got this, no problem, I need my sleep. And I'm just worried to death. So I'm very excited for her to get done with this. She's picked it up quickly. She's super proficient at everything. There's no reason that she should ever doubt herself. But when you do these, you're just nervous. That's kind of what happens. I'm just nervous because I know what she's going through and it sucks. Commercial is like a couple of days. Oh, dang, that's nice. Hopefully that wasn't a short field. 
All right, you can see Callie sitting on the taxiway behind me. That was what appeared to be just a normal landing. She still needs to do a short field and a go around. My heart, now that I can see her, is just pounding. I can feel it. My hands are sweaty. I don't like this feeling, but I can tell you that I like this feeling more than the feeling she's currently going through with Morris on a check ride. All right, that was a short field takeoff. And a pretty good looking one if you ask me. So this is going to be a short field landing and she can't come up short, which she most definitely is not going to. And she has to come in within about 200 feet of where she is right now which she easily did. Another perfect job. All right, that would be Callie's go around, which is another requirement that you have to do. So the next one should be a soft field landing. It should be her last one. Awesome. That was a great soft field landing with a 10 knot crosswind. This is not easy. So she should be done. We're gonna go and find out. All right, she is officially completely done. We're about to find out if we're eating cake or not. She's been in the airplane talking with the examiner for maybe five or six minutes. It's making me a little nervous. It's all wound up for nothing. <laughs> like they all are. And the verdict is... Oh. Did you throw up? No, but I feel like I could. Oh, I almost threw up, so Especially I'm glad that Especially after those landings, oh my god. You did freaking awesome. Every landing that I saw, you absolutely nailed. They were not perfect by any means Con or stop. Congratulations. You had a nice crosswind. That yeah. was awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. Really <laughs> You're <sorry>. crying. <laughs> That's a weight off your shoulders. All right, so no. tradition here is that when they pass their check ride, they get to eat cake. Callie's got some carrot cake. I'm not and cutting it, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> she's claiming all of it for herself. The problem is, is that we've been here for a month and they do typically two to three check rides a day. That is a lot of cake. But this is my cake. It finally happened. I'm a private pilot. I cannot tell you how good it feels to be done with that. I was really nervous the whole the whole check ride. Like people will be like, oh, you'll get in the air and it'll feel great. I was very nervous the whole time. I just, uh, and then you do the maneuvers and you crush the maneuvers and you're like feeling good. And then you're like, I gotta go do three good landings and takeoffs. Once I landed that last landing, well, I mean, he didn't tell me if I failed or passed, but I was like, at least it's done. Parked the airplane here, shut it down told me that I passed and then we debriefed. And honestly, the coolest part about that check ride was learning something from the DPE who is so experienced and such an amazing pilot. I wish I could have flown with him several times over the last 30 days, because I feel like I would have learned so much. Um, but he just debriefed me on stuff that he noticed that maybe my instructors weren't noticing and uh, just little stuff, but it was really cool to learn from him in that moment. Um, and to be done with this felt so good. We're gonna go eat some cake. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're also gonna have another video or maybe two just about the whole experience here at Reagan Flight Service. So be sure to look out for that. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And from deep down the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all of you watching. Your comments have been so nice here on YouTube, on social media. Everyone has been so encouraging and supportive and it really, really means a lot to me. And it's crazy to think that there are strangers all over the world who are rooting for me and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. We're heading up to North Dakota to start our spray season and we're gonna have a lot more videos when we start doing that. Thanks again for watching. I'm Callie with Ag Aviation Adventures. Learn and burn 
and don't give up, push through. And if you wanna try something new, do it, even if it's scary.